What's up, everyone? All right, so I guess I'm supposed to do one of these YouTube intros. I mean, YouTube says I should, and it helps, so I'm gonna listen to YouTube. Let's go ahead and do this really quick. I'll try to make this quick and not talk too much. Uh, background for myself. All right, quick background. I, 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 I'm a web designer. I run my own design firm. I'm also a front-end developer. Well, before all that, like rewind before that, uh, I was in construction, like my whole life, construction, machine shops. I eventually started working at Home Depot, and I became an assistant store manager there, but I, I wasn't being fulfilled. I wanted to change, and I wanted something where I didn't have to work for another boss again. I wanted something where I could choose my own hours, I had freedom, and I could travel around and I could do basically whatever I want. That's what I really wanted. I wanted freedom. And so I, t I started learning web development. I started learning uh, front end development and I got pretty good at it. I started freelancing and, uh, you know, within a year of freelancing, my, my freelancing business went pretty well. So I was building a good freelancing business. I'm traveling around the world. I'm living out in Thailand. I'm originally from L.A. and I never left L.A. my whole life. But now I'm living halfway around the world. And I wanted to do something more, and I, I started getting really intrigued by design. So I made a transition from web development to web design, and then to UI design, where I study this extensively. And I'm just like overly obsessed on getting good at design. So my freelance business went great. A few years ago, I started my own company, uh, Lightbox Studio. We're a design studio. We do bespoke designs for for you know like brands that really want that personal customized touch and we're doing pretty well with that we're still growing here's the thing though the whole business side of building a freelancing business and also building an agency or a studio was the last thing i learned you know i've always worked for somebody my whole life and I was good at learning how to write code. I was good at learning how to do design and design principles. But then trying to grow a business, I mean, trying to do proposals or build a system or do onboarding or, you know, trying to learn how to price correctly and to gauge a project and to manage a project. There's a whole lot more to learn. And, you know, that was the last thing I learned. And as a result, it was a lot of tough lessons, a lot of cost costly lessons. I don't regret them at all. We all have to learn. And it wasn't until maybe about a couple years ago when I realized that there's a whole other side that I need to learn on this. Like I, I obsessed about learning development. I obsessed about learning design. But the whole business side of being a creative and being able to build a creative business uh, I needed to learn that. So that's the point of this channel. This channel is I want to share what has been working for me, what, what I've learned, whether I've learned it the hard way by making mistakes or I've learned it in other ways because I, I do work with like a business coach. I do read a lot now. I'm part of other communities that is focused more on business growth for creatives. And this channel right here, I want to share that with you. I want to share that with new web designers, developers. Uh, I'm also a super Elementor enthusiast. So you're going to see Elementor all through this channel. We're also going to do tutorials on it. Uh, I mean, we do other development as well. We do like Shopify. I am a Shopify developer. I started that in the beginning. Uh, we use other tools as well, like Oxygen and custom build projects. But I would say about 90% of our projects is Elementor. I love Elementor. I feel it's a game changer. And I think that Elementor could do a lot to help new web designers and developers get started with their businesses faster. And right now in 2020, while so many people are losing their jobs, so many people are having to make changes. I mean, it's, it's, it's a time where... We have to make changes. We have to do what we got to do to survive. And if I could do something to help others that are making those changes, then that 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 that's what this is for. That's what this channel is for. I know what web design has done for me. I mean, before becoming a web designer, I, mean, I worked in construction. I, I was breaking my back. And then I worked in Home Depot. And I actually did pretty well. I moved up the ladder at Home Depot pretty fast, become an assistant store manager. But all I was doing was taking crap from customers. I mean, I was getting yelled at and having to say, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, you broke your thing. You know, it's just like, it sucks. You know, I wasn't happy. 
having people treat me badly and having to apologize to them for treating me badly. You know, nobody should have to live like that. And well, making the change and becoming a web designer has changed my life so much. It's a lot of hard work. It is a lot of hard work. You can't just start and, you know, like in, in, in a month, be ready to like have this big business and charge a lot of money. You got to pay your dues first. You got to learn first. There's, there's, a uh, there's a slope, you know, you got to, you got to climb up it. You got to climb up that curve, but it's up to you, up to the individual, how fast you climb up that curve, because the more hard work you put into it, the more dedication. And if you're looking at the right things as well, because there's, you can learn a whole lot, but you might be learning wrong. You might be learning something that really isn't going to help you get there. So I hope we could help out with that in this channel. I know I said I was going to keep this short. Uh, I'll probably end up redoing this later anyways. I don't know. We'll see. I'm doing this for YouTube. Doing this for you guys too. Uh, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe. We could use the support. It really helps out. And I'm really looking forward to bringing more content and to helping more creatives, web designers, and elementor lovers uh, with this channel. Thank you.